Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, stopping by maybe for the first time, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. My name is Elizabeth and my channel name is Shy Town Girl. I am here with a brand new Dollar Tree haul and I'm so excited. I found some really cute stuff, a couple things that were on my wish list, and I'm just really excited to share these items with all of you. Every single item in this video, a buck and a coin, a dollar twenty-five. Every single item in this video came from the same locations throughout the Hudson Valley, which is where I'm at, and that's in the state of New York. It's a beautiful day here in the Hudson Valley. It's actually, I don't want to say chilly, but it is a little bit chilly. It's like 77 degrees. And when you're used to all that humidity, when 77 comes around, it's almost kind of chilly, you know? Um, but with that being said, the sun is shining. It's a gorgeous day. So I'm here to spend some me time with all of you. And let's get into this video. I promise you there's going to be something for your wish list. I really feel it. Um, I really do try so hard, not just, you know, shopping for myself, my family. Um, but, you know, I do look for things that I think all of you will like as well. And um, I think I found some. <laughs> okay. All right. So the first thing that I want to share is these glasses did come from Dollar Tree. I bought them the other night. And um, they're like a really thin wire frame. And I like them, but they're super tight. There's like hardly any expansion going on. So I'm having a hard time with them. And when I wear them, um, obviously you can see I have a little bit of makeup on today. So the mascara, because my own real lashes are very long. So now I'm talking to all of you and I can barely see. I see my shadow, but I can't see much more than that. Um, so when I do my mascara, because my eyelashes are so long, it hits the glasses and that drives me nuts. I'm just waiting on some new contacts. But in the meantime, the whole point being here is what I wanted to share with you is I had shown these um, makeups with you the other day and I opened some of them up out of the package. This was that purple one, which I love and I'm actually wearing it right now. So with all my wrinkles and everything, but there it is on my eye and I really like it. The liquid eyeshadow, um, in my opinion, is amazing. I just really like it. All right, so let me try to do some of this video without my glasses because they're kind of bugging me and driving me nuts. Let's start off with some stuff in the household department. So the first thing I picked up, and this is a brand name for me, and I'm mentioning Pine Sol again. This is 60 sheets and it's a lint roller and it's in the scent of here I go I already have to put my glasses on I wanted to say I thought it was lavender yes it is lavender my bad I'm like the reason I got it because it was lavender so it's lavender scented so I thought that was pretty cool you know with having uh, Mia around every now and then you need one of these to take care of business the next thing in the household department and this is Comet which is another brand name as far as I'm concerned anyways and this is 24 fluid ounces. It's Comet Classic Kitchen Clean. <clears throat> Let's do that again. It's Comet Classic Kitchen Cleaner Bleach. <laughs> it's 24 fluid ounces. I hadn't seen this one before at Dollar Tree. I'm not saying they don't carry it, but I hadn't seen it. So I grabbed myself some of that because as far as cleaning products go, you know, paper towels, toilet paper, bleach, all that stuff to clean your home goes pretty quick. All right, let's go over. Sorry, I got like a fuzzy or something going on here with my hair um, in my nose and I didn't want to sneeze. All right, let's go over to the department where you would find deodorants and things like that. I've shared this with you before. This is the power stick in the Brazilian Mist body spray that everybody was going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So this is the 3.5 ounce actual spray. Well, I had this and I had been seeing so many of you hauling the shower gel. I'm like, I'm never going to find it. I'm never going to find it. I finally found it and this was on my wish list. So this is the power stick for her shower gel Brazilian mist. And this is 16 fluid ounces. So this pairs right along with this, which I thought was awesome. I think when you can get things to pair along with each other, you know, they work better. Again, just my opinion. So I grabbed one of these to match what I already had here at home. Then also I found this and I had a cute little giggle. 
in the store with one of the cashiers that works there. Actually, she's more than a cashier. She's an assistant manager now, I believe. Um, and we had a cute little giggle in the aisle. And she actually saw this before I did. And I said, oh my gosh, I have to have one of those to share with my YouTube family. Anyways, this is by Personal Care. It is a intimate shave cream. Uh, it's water-based. It is a shave cream moisturizer. It is seven fluid ounces and it is in the scent of vanilla cake. How about that? I mean, it's intimate in the scent of vanilla cake. For those of you that are gonna ask me, I did check it in the store and it does have a safety seal on there. However, when you sniff the seal, <laughs> I'm not telling you go sniffing seals, but when you sniff the seal, oh, I have to share a story with all of you. When you sniff the seal, it does smell like vanilla. Um, a quick little story. I, I don't know if this lady was like being serious or what, but I stopped in my local grocery store yesterday to get some milk and, and you know, a few things to dash out the door. And I'm going down the section where they have, I needed light bulbs for my refrigerator. So I'm going down the section where they have the light bulbs and in the grocery section, they have other laundry soaps and detergents. So there was this lady standing in the aisle and it was just me and her. And we were probably 12 feet from each other, if that. And she was a younger woman, I'm gonna say early 30s. And I happened to be coming down the aisle. When I walked down the aisle, she was like sniffing laundry detergent. And I'm like, okay, maybe she's just looking for a scent. And as I kept walking, she picks up another bottle and she's smelling that bottle. <clears throat> so I'm like looking for my light bulbs. I found what I wanted. But I'm kind of like looking and doing one of these things, you know. I was probably in that aisle about four to six minutes. And in that time, she spent the entire time with her nose in laundry soaps. I don't know if that was okay or not, but it wasn't my place to say anything. I thought that was an excessive amount of time to have your nose in laundry soap. So I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I just thought that was a little odd to me. I was like, hmm. There's a story behind that, but we're going to let it go. All right, so moving on, I, I just felt impelled to share that. I don't know why. It, it just struck me really odd. Like, I thought about her the rest of the night. Like, hmm. Okay, anyways, going on, we're going to go to a couple things in the beauty department. How about for your footsies? This is a wooden foot file. Yes, it comes with a... I almost dropped it. It comes with a little hanging string, and it is actually made out of wood. And then right here, it's got a little shaped foot, but this is where you do your foots. So what I like about this is usually the wooden pieces, in my opinion, tend to last longer than that plastic stuff, but to each his own. I'm going to give it a try. It's by Sassy and Chic, so we'll check that out. Also in the makeup department, they had these by Be Pure, and they're hot, cold iPads, which I thought were cute. Every now and then, you need some iPads try to get some of that poofiness away but as older as you know as we get older the poofiness just doesn't go away it just becomes wrinkles upon wrinkles upon wrinkles also in the beauty department this is by be pure as well this is i have all these hard words to say today this is a lip plumping kit it exfoliates and scrubs and it's supposed to help create fuller looking lips so instead of you know they go there it is right there. So there's a couple of things. There's like one, two, three things here in this entire package. So I grabbed one of those. That should be interesting. The other thing in the makeup department, and I grabbed two of these, I'm guilty. I thought this was a great buy. Especially put some of these away for the uh, girls that are doing their makeup for the holidays. 20 assorted sponges by Basic Beauty. 20 of them in a package. They had two different styles, not so much really styles, but the only differences I saw were the inside sponges. One is blue and one is like a turquoise. Patty, are you kidding me? Cheryl told me that you guys were not going out and you have the nerve to fly by my house when you told me that you weren't going out? You better be zooming back in the next 10 minutes or there's going to be trouble, girls. All right, so back to my beauty sponges. It's a resealable bag, 20 in a package. You can't go wrong with that when you have ladies in the house or men in the house doing makeup. That's an awesome buy. All right, 
let's go over to the hair department as you guys notice my hair is down today and a little bit crazy um i wear it down i just don't wear it down a lot um these are so cute if you have a wedding or these would be adorable at christmas at easter look at these headbands I found this beautiful one in a light pink, but look at the rosebuds. Wouldn't that look adorable on a little one going down the aisle? A little bridesmaid. How cute are those? Lots of stretch here. So if you're wondering, is it going to fit a bigger head? Absolutely, it's going to fit a bigger head. There it is right there. Now, of course, this piece will just, you know, cons I'm actually going to leave that on for right now. I also found a blue one. Aren't they adorable? Oh my gosh, I thought they were so cute. So I grabbed a couple of those. All right, now, sweets and treats. I did find one new sweet and treat and I'm guilty of buying two packages of these too. Country Time Lemonade. Oh, I love lemonade. <gasps> How about Sour and Sweet Lemonade Soft and Chewy Ropes? What? I hadn't seen these before. So I grabbed myself two packages of these. These look like they're yummy. So they're super squishy too. All right. Now let's move on to the piece of the resistance. There's always something super special that I like to um, kind of keep towards the end or whatever. So I gave you guys a little bit of a hint about something I wanted to share with all of you. And it's up on my community page. And it's about Jeeps and Ducks. And I periodically, well, actually I see her probably three times a week. So that's more, that's a lot. There's this lady that goes by the house and she has this Jeep and the Jeep is all tripped out in pink and purple. I love it. Her lights are done in purple and she has all these rubber ducks across the front. Never thought much of it. And then I had shown some ducks on my channel last week and one of my subscribers had said, did you hear about this game uh, called Duck Duck Jeep? I was like, I had no clue. So Miss Patty looked it up for me and then I did some research on it. Anyways, I put the research up on my community page and at the bottom of the research, I put some information about maybe a giveaway um, all the way at the bottom. And what I'm about to show you, I think for those of you that are into Duck Duck Jeep or anything with ducks, um, are gonna adore these. These are so freaking cute and I think they're gonna absolutely fly. So let me get them a little bit closer to me here. Now, these are made out of a hard vinyl. Um, can you squeeze them? Yeah, if you try hard enough, you could. Let me get my ruler here. All right, I am so excited. My headband's falling off and everything. I am so excited to show these all to you guys. I really, really am. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a set. I know that for a fact because the box was right there, right in front of my face, brand spanking new. All right, my headband keeps slipping off and I think it's because of the tag. All right, but we're gonna roll with the tag. What was that actress, not, was it Minnie Pearl? The one that used to wear the hat with the little tea tag? That shows my age, oh my gosh. All right, moving on. Let's start off with, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on because I don't think I'm gonna be able to read these properly. All right, these are Disney ducks. Disney, Disney. This first one here is Miss Bella. Oh my gosh, look at her. Look at her do going on. So here you are, these are Disney ducks. Now. They do have a little hole on the bottom. And like I said, they're like a vinyl. That's probably a better word. Now she measures from the top of her little bun all the way down three inches. And that's probably about what all of them are gonna measure. If I have to be politically correct, they're gonna be three inches each. All right, so we're gonna start with Miss Belle. Too cute, oh my gosh. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna pull the headband because the tag is making it slip off. Let me put the glasses back on. All right, let's roll. So we have Belle. And then the next one we have, you guys know who she is. Yes, that's Miss Cinderella. Oh my gosh. How cute. And then, so we have Belle, Cinderella, 
And then we have Sully Monsters Incorporated. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Where's all my Stitch fans? We have Stitch. How adorable are these? I really think they're going to freaking fly. I honestly think they are. And then we have Mickey himself. Oh my gosh, are these darling? Again, you know, it's a it's a hard vinyl. And uh, they do have the hole on the bottom. So who do we need now? We need Donald Duck. Oh, look at Donald Duck. Look at his little hat. These are so, so cute. So I absolutely loved reading the story about Duck Duck Jeep. I think that is so cool. Um, there are other ducks at Target. Um, I don't know what ones they have. I don't know who they're by, but these for a buck and a coin, you can't lose. Last but not least, Mr. Winnie the Pooh himself. Oh my gosh, are these adorable. So keep your eyes open at your Dollar Trees. I mean, I love them. All right, I am not done yet. I'm really not done. So I do have a few new pairs of socks I want to share with all of you guys. All right, I told you to grab those wish lists. Here we go. Barbie ghosts. What? So we've got Barbie and then look at the ghosts. They do say Barbie. You just kind of can't see it very well. No, they don't. I just lied. They don't say Barbie. It just says B for Barbie. So my bad, it says B all over it. They also had, oh, this is Minnie Mouse. Look at her all for Halloween, all tripped out. I think she's got, let me see if I can open it up a little more. It looks like it is, it is a um, skeleton. So there it is, it's like a skeleton outfit. That's about the best shot I can give you, too cute. And then we have Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus. Let me see if I can give you a good shot of this one. These are like ankle socks. And there's our Hocus Pocus. Not a great shot because it's kind of hard to get my hand down in there. And then last but not least, how about Miss Betty Boop, 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 Boop. Miss Betty Boop. Uh, let's see if we can get a good shot of her face. These are adorable. There are so many different kinds of socks out there. Depending on where you shop, where you live is going to be the differences. So there she is, Miss Betty Boop. Too cute. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to admit, this Dollar Tree was so freaking big, I definitely have to split it up. Um, so there's going to be a couple hauls out of this. Um, I usually like to show you everything at one time, but sometimes I've just like shopped way more than I thought. And I want to space out some of the items that I have to share with all of you. And I'm just going to tell you, I have, hmm, should I or shouldn't I? I have so many more fun finds to share with all of you that I'm super, super psyched about. And you definitely going to want to grab your wish list for these as well. Um, I am. I have goosebumps just talking about some of the things that I found that I can't wait to share with all of you. So until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon. A big hug from me to all of you. Until next time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.